Oh, wow. I'm glad I wasn't doing nothing crazy. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. It's been a while since I've been on. This retrograde has been affecting me. Plus, it's been some interference in my life. It's just been a whole bunch of stuff going on. And when my when I'm not right, I don't come on. I don't want to give any tainted messages. Um, I'm going to do a reading to see what the energies are. And then we'll go from there. Um, I know it's a lot going on. Um, I'm going to cut these cards right here because this is going to be the starting point. Um, I want to thank you all for stopping by my channel. Um, my name is Ziri Bibi or Rita. Um, and it's, things have been really interesting for the past, the past week. It seems like uh, the ascension and the meddling, it, it was like everything just was all rolled up into one. Um, that's been going on right now. I got, I had to start doing protection things. You know, it was just a lot going on. Um, whoever this is, it's not even my energy. Some, it's like somebody has latched on to me and they are trying to suck, suck my energy, but they ain't get, your girl ain't going out like that. It's just not, it's not happening. I'm protected, but you know, if you slip up, you know. You can't escape it all, you know, as much as you, you try, you can't. But but I want to uh, make sure, let you all know we are protected tonight. We, we're good. Um, the divine has us covered. Um, and so if any foolishness come, I'm ready for them. And plus I got my wines and everything. Um, what I want to do, I want to pull... couple of cards. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to pull these first. Spirit. Can we give a collective a message? What's going on? What's the current energy? We're not taking all of those. Even though one tried to stay. Um, distant thunder clear the air and yes because there's been some stuff going on and answering the call the time is now so it's going to be it's been some stuff going on it's saying clear the air be ready get ready because the time is now what are you all getting ready? And then on the bottom, surrendering to the journey. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Um, like I said, I know I've been having ascension sim um, symptoms. And then there were, like I said, I can tell when somebody's um, trying to um, zap my energy. And it kind of caught me by off guard because I normally don't um, let you know, let that kind of stuff happen, but it happened. And so I had to, I'm in the midst of clearing the air for myself. The tower, look at that. Can't make it up. There's a tower moment. So somebody's weird may have a tower moment. If they're not having it right now. Chariot answering the call. Somebody is moving forward if they're answering the call. Just need one more spirit. High Priestess. It's divine feminine energy. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Divine feminine needs to release control. And it's probably this, you know, I'm going to put myself in this message because 
I'm just going to put myself in this message. On the bottom is Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles says, I take the time I need to nurture myself. Didn't I just say I had to take time off? Yes. So this is, this is what's been going on. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And with this distant thunder clearing the air, whatever drama you've had going on in your life, whether it's at home, at work, your personal life, whatever, you need to clear this stuff up. And um, this tower says, I surrender and know how to go forward. You're going to have to just say what you need to say and then keep it moving. Um, answering the call. The time is now. You need to act. You, somebody's being told they need to move forward with the chariot. Forward, not backwards. And the chariot says, I move, I go forward with confidence. Be confident in answering this call. Whatever it is that you need to be doing, need to be doing. Oh, Lord. Whatever it is you should, you are being guided to do. Let me act right. And surrendering to the journey. Release control. You can't control you cannot you can't control whatever is going on this is divinely guided and this is high priestess and um being told my intuition guides me to the truth you don't need to control anybody because intuitively you already know you already know what the truth is i wasn't look at this i, I guess this reading is turning out the way that it's going to turn out um we're going to keep it going here because i thought i was going to do too but nope this is it. Um, one fell out. Great fortune. Two fell out here. Thoughts and family room. Last one. That's too many. I'm not taking all of that. I'll take this gift. Um, your, I can tell you this. Your intuitive guy. It's a gift. Your your intuitive and adjudication. What's going on in the bottom of this is a lot of times people say that this is a court, but this is getting clarity on a situation. You're understanding what's going on clear you're you're understanding what's what are the rules and there's two people here so it's some type of relationship you're getting some type of clarity on this relationship um let's see so what else all right There's hope. Whatever, when, if you clear the air and deal with this tower moment, this great fortune, there's a hope. The hope is there for you to receive it, and not only that, you're gonna receive healing. What else is going on in here? I like this card because it says a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but you're gonna see the healing, and this is all kind. This is protection. When I ask for protection. That's a white light. That hope is protected. You're going to get it. But you need to deal with that um, tower moment. Because you got some choices. Um, cosmic connection. Answering the call. The time is now. These are your ancestors. You know, I, I keep it real on my channel about the angels. The angels don't look like the angelical they look like that um and if you move forward this will allow whatever is going on with this relationship because it's a relationship somebody thinking about somebody at home could be you thinking about them or they thinking about you either way but you got it's a cosmic connection this is a connection you all are supposed to be doing something. You all are supposed to be moving forward some kind of way. You're both free spirits. And you both have free will. So the choice is yours. 
Um, oh, wow. Okay, I'll take it. Surrendering to the journey. Using your intuition as a gift. And you should use your gift to walk your truth. You should be using this gift right now. And you should express your gratitude for this gift. Everybody don't have it. But you also should be using your gift to um, give unconditional love. Because that's a gift. Look at that. Unconditional love came up twice. And it came up twice because I have two decks mixed together. I'm going to keep it. Because what's funny is this is this is for somebody's inner child. And this is for them now to heal themselves. And there's that white light of protection again that I always talk about. And there's your um, crown chakra, your heart chakra. Um, sacral, yeah, base and sacral. Yeah, you're protected. But you got to surrender. You got to give up, release the control. Um, what else do I want to add to this? Um, for who all that, um, that are in this hopeful energy. Confidence is your key to success. You need to clear the air. Right now, luck is on your side. And for, what is this one? The time is now. And this one is about a relationship. I should have made this a pick your pile. I'm going to start doing that. Um, the time is now if it's a relationship. <laughs> they don't want to come out for that. Emotions are running high. Yes, we just got through with that retrograde and now it's moving into another way and then on the 27th we got a new moon so yeah it's a whole lot going on there's this surrendering going within you need to surrender and like I said surrender you need to release this control whatever control you got going on Nothing yet is set in stone. You can't control things. You can't. But you need to look at the bigger picture of whatever it is you're dealing with. Um, what do I want to do? Clear the air. You need to spend time on you as well. Spend time on you. And that's what I did. Let me look at this one. To me, this picture looks like somebody. It's a space picture, but there's somebody relaxing, floating. It's like a water. Because this is a lot of. This is a lot of heart chakra energy here. And, and a lot of orange and yellow heart, confidence, sacral. This is what this is. You need to spend time with yourself. Get things back in union. Get things back, back um, in order. You are your greatest gift. Answering the call, you are being, can't make this up. You are being called into service. You need to answer the call. This, this is, this one is about a relationship. Believe in your own guidance. You need to answer this call. What did this one say? Balance yourself. 
That's why this one said clear the air. You need to balance yourself. This one, you being called in and you need to answer this call. See with your heart. So who, whatever this is, this person is thinking about them. But you need to see them with your heart, not with your eyes. Because the eyes, you're going to see all kind of BS. But anyway, um, release control. It's just releasing control. Oh, okay, there you are. Following the path of another. Your path is being redirected to where it should be. Yeah, because you are you need to release this control. Because you were following somebody else. You were trying to control somebody else. And it's a possibility they leaving you because you're trying to control them. Following the path of another. Your path is being redirected to where it should be. You're not supposed to be controlling people. And if you control people and they move away, then you got to go. You know, the, the divine will send you in another direction. Distant thunder, clear the air. <laughs> why? <laughs> Quit asking why. You need to clear the air so that you won't be stagnant. And if you don't clear the air, you're going to be stagnant. If you clear the air, you're going to be given more gifts. This is why you need to be spending time on yourself to figure out why. All right. And answering this call, the time is now. Exchanging gifts. This is interesting. Exchanging gifts. Are you exchanging gifts with this person that's thinking about you in this family room? Because you can't exchange gifts with yourself. And that's a 27, which is a 9. So a cycle will be ending some kind of way. What's this one? This is a 4. A 4 is a time of rest. All right, surrendering to the journey. Co-create. So you're being told to get in, to get um, to start using your gifts to create co-create. You're supposed to be working with somebody, but you got to work on this inner child issue and quit controlling stuff. You got to work on the inner child issue, and this is coming from the higher power. They're telling you this. They're telling you you need to do this. Um, what is this? Um, this is a new deck I have. I like it. It's called Black Moon Astrology Cards. I'm going to see what the message is for Pile 1. Distant Thunder. Eleventh house, friends, clear, clear the air. So if somebody got some friends around them, they need to clear out. This is your eleventh house, friends. You got some friends that's not really your friends. And I'm hearing in my head right now that song, friends. How many of us have them, friends? You got some, you ain't, they not your friend. They frenemies. Yeah, you need to be careful, be careful about that. Um, answering the call. The time is now. Would you? 
Aries. This is um, I am. I am is the person that um, you're saying you're dealing with yourself. You are what? What are you? Are you going into a relationship? Are you going to start speaking your truth? Are you going to start focusing on your emotions that, that are running high? Hmm. Surrendering to the journey. To uh, your soul purpose, moon energy. Can't make it up. This is moon. All right. Do you believe you can do it? Do you believe you can surrender to this journey? Pisces energy. I'll get more to these cards at another time. That's just the introduction. Um, yes, it, it's, it's a lot with these. Um. Can I have a last message? Somebody wants four wines, but they're going deep within because they really don't know what they need to do. This is power one. They having a tower moment, but that came up already before. They feel out in the cold right now. Answering the call. They're getting a tower moment, but their tower moment is different. This is like, okay, you need to do this. It's a, 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 a shake up. And you getting the mass message to come on and get to it. Princess of Pentacles is somebody who is creative. So you need to, somebody needs to be using their creativity. Surrendering to the journey. You need to balance out these emotions and quit being so controlling. Spirit wants you to work with um, them, and you're supposed to be working with somebody else. You need the strength to do it, and you need the strength to release control and be confident in who you are. This one got the most stuff. Release this devil energy because there's this that control is devil energy and it's affecting whatever affects you affects your counterpart. I haven't said that in a while. And it's affecting you you having the ability to have ten of pentacles. This control affects this. Don't nobody want to be around somebody that's controlling. They'll be single before they deal with that. Well, I know I will. The divine is trying to get you to, to work with them. That's three of pentacles. And then look at all this, these stars here. That's all the hopes and dreams that, that you're having. This is the divine and this is divine feminine, masculine, divine feminine. He'll give you all of this. You got eggs here. It's just very abundant. It is there waiting on you. But you got to give up that control. Um, I'm going to pull one more thing. Never thought I would do this reading like this, but I'm kind of glad. Oh, I might. Oh, no, I don't have that. I'm not going to do that. 
um, for the first pile with chakra. Third eye, there will always be signs to guide you on your path. So you need to surrender. You need to clear the air, clear the clutter. You can't see the signs if you got a lot of clutter. And for answering the call, heart chakra. You can only love others as much as you love yourself. How much do you love yourself? Because apparently there is somebody here thinking about you in their living room. And this control with chakra is going to help you get that back into it. Whoa. Okay. Fell on the floor. This is um third eye. Trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. So we're quit trying to control things and just trust. And once you do this, you can um this is chakra balance. You can balance them all. The only separate illusion is separation. You know, once you do that, um, there's a lot going on here. I'm hoping you all are um, looking at what you need to look at and fix what you need to fix so that you can gain clarity. This means gain. To some people, this means somebody getting a divorce or they at the court or whatever. But this is finalizing, gaining clarity on things for me. Adjudication. I'll even pull the book out. I don't normally pull the book out for this. What number is that? 30. Working together. Look at me. Okay, I was saying what the end may mean. This card represents someone you go to for the resolution of a disagreement or problem. It might be a judge, mediator, lawyer, doctor, or counselor. So, yeah, you're gaining clear clarification on the situation. Um, it indicates all public matters and all kinds of advisors. When this card appears, discussions or negotiations are necessary. In your personal relationships, adjudication describes clarifying discussions or debates. Like I said, because, yeah, they're, clear, they're getting clarity on something. In professional terms, all participants in an advisory role are represented. Furthermore, this card indicates all matters that are public. So whatever is going on is going to be public knowledge for everybody. So I'm surprised that the um, community card didn't pop out. It might even be on the bottom, but I didn't even look at it. Oh, underneath it. Nope, it's a mature woman. Anyway, well, that's it for now. This is just, I'm just slowly coming back. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I want to read something because somebody needs to hear it. And it's two different things. Where is the... Man, every time I get ready to do something. Oh, here it is. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it with this. It, ta it takes practice. We need to reduce ourselves to listen to, nope, let's start over. We need to re-educate ourselves to listen to and trust the inner truths that come to us through our intuitive feelings. We must learn to act on them, even though it may feel risky and frightening at first, because we are no longer playing it safe, doing what we should do, pleasing others, 
following rules or deferring to outside authority. Learning to trust our intuition is an art form. And like all other art forms, it takes practice to perfect. We have to be willing to make mistakes, to try something and fail, and then try something different the next time. If we hold back out of fear of being wrong, learning to trust our intuition could take a lifetime. The affirmation is, I am learning to trust my intuition. Somebody need to hear that. And then here's this other thing I want to read. The man who throws a stone at the birds and scares them away. Wait a minute. Yep. The man who throws a stone at the birds and scares them away. And the man who abuses a friend destroys a relationship. That's deep. And that's from Ecclesiastics 22.20. Yeah, it's from the Bible. I take um, messages from everywhere. Um, this is the one that came up today. That's really deep. Birds are messengers. Birds are our friends. Think about that. Are you throwing a stone at your, your friend? Are you a relative? That's just, this is, I'll leave it at that. I probably could have did a reading on that by itself. But anyway, let me go. Let me get back to resting and conv convalescing. Convalescing. See, this, this retrograde has been messing with me. You take care. Peace. Thanks for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'll try to come back tomorrow. I'm hoping that the energies will be even better or I won't feel so scattered. All right. Take care.